Now, from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Missouri baseball entered its four-game series with the UIC Flames over the weekend, looking to build on a 7-2 start and keep the winning streak going. This was Missouri's second series in a long homestand for the Tigers. They won't be playing a team outside Columbia until March 18th. The Tigers won the series against the Flames 3-1 with a dominating 13-5 win yesterday at Taylor Stadium. Missouri hit four home runs against UIC yesterday with Ryan Howard hitting his second homer of the series. Howard had the walk-off long ball in the opening game against UIC on Friday. Overall, Missouri scored 42 runs over the four-game set. Reggie McLean set a new career-high mark for strikeouts in the opening game of the series. He had 11 Ks in seven and two-thirds innings. The St. Louis Cardinals in preseason action against the Washington Nationals. Washington gets on the board first. Michael Taylor, the single in the left. Reed Johnson comes around to score. Nationals now up 3-0, and Jose Lobaton hits the deep single into right field. That's going to bring Stephen Drew home. St. Louis finally gets on the board, though, as Brandon Moss is going to double into center field. Jonathan Rodriguez flies around the bases. He comes in all the way from first to score, but it's not enough for the Cardinals. They lose to the Nationals 5-2. The Kansas City Royals are preparing to defend their championship this upcoming season. The Royals got the W yesterday, defeating the Angels 6-1 in preseason action. Nine different players got hits for Kansas City in the win. Raul Mondosi had one of those hits. He also had two RBIs in the game after giving up a run in the second inning. The Royals pitching staff blanked the Angels for the rest of the game. Missouri softball hasn't played a game in Columbia so far this season, and it's not because the Tigers are waiting for that new stadium to be built. That'll be coming in 2017. Tigers were busy enjoying the great weather in Florida and California, and they also took care of some business, getting some big-time wins before opening SEC play against Ole Miss this coming Friday in Oxford. The 14th-ranked Tigers took down two ranked opponents to wrap up the Judy Garman tournament in California this weekend. Missouri blanked number 17 Arizona State 8-0 and also defeated number 22 Baylor 10-4. Freshman pitcher Danielle Baumgartner got the complete game shutout victory against Arizona State. The Tigers finished the tournament 4-1, the only loss coming to number 2 Michigan. The Columbia College men's basketball team is in the American Midwest Conference Tournament final after wins over Harris Stowe University and Park University. Now the second seeded Cougars get to host the tournament final later tonight. Columbia College will face the fifth seeded William Woods Owls in the championship game. The Cougars advance to the final after Friday's win over Park University behind a balanced attack as six players scored in double figures. Columbia College is 27-5 this season and is looking to get an automatic bid to the NAIA tournament, which starts on March 16th in Kansas City. Now on to the big league. Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors, they're chasing the 96 Bulls. Kobe Bryant, he's facing Golden State for the final time in his career. But it was rookie D'Angelo Russell who got going for L.A., Hits the tray here. He finished with 21 points in the game. Later on, Nick Young, Swaggy P, gets the jumper to go for the Lakers. He added 13 points off the bench. Curry trying to get the Warriors going. Gets an easy layup here off the pass from Sean Livingston. But L.A. wouldn't give up the lead. Mizzou made Jordan Clarkson puts the icing on the cake with an emphatic dunk. He led all scorers with 25 points. Here's the disappointment on Curry's face, and the Lakers score the upset of the year, beating the Warriors 112-95. to That's loss number six for Golden State on the year. Now, March Madness is just around the corner, and the brackets are going to be filled out. It's pretty much an open bracket this year. No team has really separated themselves. Right. How will you go about filling your bracket? Is it just going to be pointing and seeing, you know, which, which team lands on the finger, rolling the Rick, dice? What's your Rick. method this year for March Madness? Well, I, mean, I always end up with long conversations I was going to say, this, this is a big one. Son Not for me, and though. My husband, and so much goes into each pick. So, I mean, I think we'll talk it to death. We w I will always use the same format I always do, which is Favorite what are their mascots? mascots? <laughs> and then in a scenario in my head, which isn't necessarily who's tougher, which mascot but win? yeah, who would win? Mascots and, and colors. That's that's the way to go. You think so? <laughs> I think Sports that's the way world. to go. I've blue, actually, blue tends to win. I've won a few brackets that way, and it's very infuriating right, to the guys in my house. Who overtalks it.
ないんですけど。